All right, we had to break down the top 25 so far in high school football as of week 11, 30-19. Number one, we got Island. You know, played North Shore last week, spanked them. They got DeSoto this week. Big time matchup. Can't wait for this. Cold Rain, number two. St. Francis at number three. Miramar is at number four. Cedar Hills at number five. St. Thomas Aquinas is at number six. Miami Northwestern is at number seven. DeSoto is at number eight. Long Beach Poly at number nine. Capel is at number 10. Neville is at number 11. Modern Day is at number 12. They took that L last week. Ugly. Ugh. South Panola is at number 13. Spanish Forts at number 14. Steele is at number 15 after losing to Duncanville. DeMath is at number 16. Uh, Thompson is at number 17. Uh, Clay Chalkville is at number 18. Duncanville is at 19. Mission Viejo is at 20. John Curtis, 21. Pickerington Central, 22. Shelby's at 23. St. Xavier, 24. Gonzaga, 25. Hey, can't wait till they play against DeMatha the week after the next. But, hey, them and St. Francis, that should be a big matchup this week. And now let's break down these games. You know, we already saw the St. Francis-St. John's game. Uh, Andrew Rice's uh, road to glory. Spanked up on St. John's, 43-3. DeMatha beats Western High School, 42-14. Gonzaga beats Eastern High School, 49-7. DeSoto beats Alito, 35-28. Cold Rain beats Moeller 34-29. Pickerington Central beats St. Xavier 42-28. Spanish Fort beats University Lab 37-13. Dowling Catholic beats Modern Day, which was a shocker, 30-28. Cedar Hill beats Memphis University School 36-14. St. Thomas Aquinas beats Oscar Smith. <laughs> he spanked him. 63-37. Duncanville, hey, this was a big time game. I love watching this game. Christian Will went off, but yeah, they went in a uh, double overtime. Duncanville beat Steel 59-52. Mission Viejo beat Servite 52-31. Shelby beats Northwest High School 27-10. Uh, Neville beats uh, Rummel 41-35. Long Beach Poly beats Corona 49-28. Capel beats Trinity 31-14. Miramar beats Lakeland 46-28. John Curtis Christian wins over Starkville 21-17. Uh, I'm tripping. South Panola out of Mississippi beats Damascus 33-21. Allen beats North Shore 47-10. Thompson beats Clay Chalkville 31-28. And now let's take a look at the stat leaders. We're going to start off with the passing leaders. And this is all sorted by passing yards. Leading the... Nation in passing is Christian Ware, 3,200 yards, 34 touchdowns, 9 picks. Allen Graham for Long Beach, probably 2,900 yards, 24 touchdowns, 13 picks. Adrian Gray from Sodotna, Alaska, 27 touchdowns, I mean, 2,700 yards, 19 touchdowns, 18 picks. That's a little ugly right there. Look like a bunch of garbage time yards. Corey Brown out of Wayne, 2,500 yards, 23 touchdowns, 8 picks. Brian Waller. 2,400 yards, 22 touchdowns, 9 picks. Anthony Carlton, 26 touchdowns, 8 picks. Uh, Wendell Harvey, 23 touchdowns, 6 picks. Warren Jones, 20 touchdowns, 3 picks. Jason Barkley, 26 touchdowns, 5 picks. Albert Bowie, 29 touchdowns, 6 picks. Y'all see a bunch of the other dudes, you know, we'll stop it. If it's anybody that's significantly notable, like Ben Sims from DeMatha, 25 touchdowns, 8 picks. I think he might be very good next year. But yeah, y'all see, y'all pretty much see all the dudes. And we're going to sort the Russian leaders by rushing yards. Chauncey Sanders, still in the lead, 1,300 yards, 12 touchdowns. Andy Rivera, 1,200 yards, 14 touchdowns. Lamar Harper, 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns. Jake Turner, 1,200 yards, 5 touchdowns. James Daly, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Bernard Johnson, 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Abdul Adams, 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. And y'all see all these other guys. We're just going to scroll through. Get y'all just to the dudes has got a bunch of rushing numbers so far this year. Yeah, y'all pretty much got it. It's a lot of guys in the eight, nine hundred yard rushing range. That's pretty impressive. And now we're gonna break down the receiving yards. And 
this is something I really want to touch on because, yeah, you know, Lawrence Simmons, he's leading the nation and receiving so far 1,400 yards, 18 touchdowns, 20 yards per catch. And, yeah, that's crazy numbers. But to me, the best receiver in the country is this guy right here, Cato Hendricks. Just look at these numbers right here. And this, mind you, this dude's only been playing halfway throughout the season. Just got moved up from JV. Hey. 1300 receiving yards 56 yards per catch and if you watch look go watch all the best plays all the highlights that we put up and showcase about him throughout the year it's not like like bro they playing too high safety on him a lot and it's like the one time they go one-on-one -on -one, they throw it to him and he get in the end zone it's crazy and then when they do play cover two they do play quarters cover three whatever it is he's still running by him so yeah this dude different, Cato Hendricks. Hey, next season might do a road to glory with him. Hey, you never know. Uh, go out from from high school all the way to his college and pro career because this dude's a special talent right here. Warren Morris, 1100 yards, 10 touchdowns. Aaron Collins, 1000 yards, 15 touchdowns. Danny Brown, you see Bernard Williams, Dan Young, Nick White, Matt Washington, Nate Christensen. He's hurt right now, but hey, this dude's like that. 897, nine touchdowns. He did get shut down by Andrew Rice though. But yeah, Bo Jones, DJ Motley, y'all see all these dudes. It's a lot of good receivers, a lot of good players in high school football. Like Maurice Nelson. You just need a better quarterback in my opinion. And defensive stats. We're going to roll through it real quick. You see Eddie McDaniel, John Thomas, 13-12 sacks for both of them. Donovan Mitchell, 8 sacks. You see Josh Davis, Travis Russell. You see all these other guys. Guys, you know, it's a lot of productive players just getting sacks out here. Brandon Harper, the nation's number one corner, the five-star corner in the class of 30-20. Brandon Harper leading the nation in picks right now with six. You see Will Cannon, Joey Battle, Drew Cunningham, Ian Vaughn, Thomas Seymour, Jared Bosick, John Dukes, all these guys. Hey, but the top dog right now is Brandon Harper, and I can't really disagree. But me, my personal opinion, I think Andrew Rice might be better at the next level if he gets some good coaching. But hey, it's just all I'm saying. But yeah, it's a lot of dogs out here playing DB, playing defense in general. If you want to be included as a character in the Reason Sports Network universe, then this is the video for you. In the Reason Sports Network, we make content for high school football, college football, and the NFL. You can be a character in our series and see yourself evolve from high school to college to the pros. If you want to be a part of this, then fill out the form that's in the description. When you fill out the form, make sure to choose only one level of football. Choose either high school, college, or the NFL. If you choose multiple levels of football, then I will select the smaller level. For instance, if you choose a high school and a college team, then you will start your career in high school. If you choose a college and an NFL team, then you will start your career in college. If you start your career in the NFL, then you'll start off as an undrafted free agent. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for filling out the form and wanting to be part of the Reason Sports Network and enjoy the content.